music industry executive, television and film producer, and content creator. That is Phil Thornton, currently the senior vice president and general manager of RCA Inspiration. In 2017, the company was named the top gospel label by Billboard magazine. Phil, who is included on Billboard's 40 Under 40 list, heads a roster of multiple award-winning artists, including Kirk Franklin, Donnie McClurkin, and many others. The label released Snoop Dogg's first gospel album, Bible of Love, and received an NAACP Image Award for the soundtrack of Greenleaf. Before Phil arrived in the gospel industry and after graduating from Norfolk University in 2003, he started his first company, Bright Star Entertainment, an artist management and consulting firm where he represented 112 and Little Mo. Several years later, he co-founded 10 to 1 Entertainment, a multimedia company. In 2016, 10 to 1 with Sony Pictures Television and Think Factory Media released Surviving Compton, Dre, Suge, and Michelle A. The Lifetime biopic garnered an average of 2.3 million viewers. Phil also headed the artist management side of 10 to 1 and helped guide the careers of Faith Evans and Kenny Lattimore. Phil currently serves as the executive producer of the E1 hit show, It's a Man's World, starring David and Tamla Mann on TV One, winning an NAACP Image Award in 2018 for Outstanding Reality Series. Before RCA, Phil served as vice president and general manager of Urban Inspirational at E1 Music. He led a diverse roster of gospel and R&B artists, from Shirley Caesar to Layla Hathaway. And our final Stellar Honors recipient is Phil Thornton. Thornton also founded Fillionaire Worldwide Publishing, where his team of writers and producers create music for several artists, including Eminem, whose single featuring Bruno Mars' Lighters won two BMI awards for the most played pop and urban record of 2011. As a content creator, Phil plans to continue creating high quality music, TV, and film projects. What do you think needs to happen though? Like, as far as if you were, if somebody said Phil, what can we do? Like, if somebody came to you in the RCA, you know, the, the heads in the mm -hmm. RCA and said, listen, what do we need to do to incorporate more of the black experience into music, at least from our end? Empowering our producers and songwriters that actually get it. Because when you think about the fundamentals of a lot of the successful artists in our industry, mm -hmm. from Barry Gordy to uh, Birdman and, and uh, Slim over at Cash Money, mm -hmm. there were people to understand the, the, the business, the nuances, but also the culture and the music, the art of it. Mm -hmm. So we need more people to understand the art. The commerce is definitely important, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but you need people to understand both. He recently executive produced the Sundance screen film, A Boy, A Girl, A Dream, Love on Election Night, starring Omari Hardwick and Megan Good. Fearless and faithful, Phil says, ever since I stepped on this earth, I believe my steps have been ordered. I have a, I have a mother, I have sisters, I have you know mm -hmm. black women around me, so I have to, I'm accountable, yeah, so I'm not. So I'm right. not going to perpetuate a negative stereotype. So you need more people that understand and want to have some respect, you know, next to their producer credit. It's not just about the check, exactly. Mm. You know, so yes. we got to make sure that we're keeping the integrity. Integrity. I'm fearless because I know that I've got God on my side. That's why I continue to walk in faith and believe that He's giving me the foresight and the vision, never to be afraid. The Living Legends Foundation is proud to salute Phil Thornton with the Living Legends Gospel Music Executive Award.